Hey guys, it's Marco here, the author of the Drain Mixer tool. So today I just want to show you uh, some of the updates that will be available in the version 1.7, which will, should be uh, uploaded tomorrow. So if you get the version 1.6 now, it will be a free update. So you know where to go. Uh, also, have in mind that uh, some bugs are possible. Uh, because this is still just you know early early phase uh, but it should work so everything that I show you in this video should work so uh, let's first start with uh, maybe uh, the most obvious uh, addition to the package and that's this uh, fake sky so with the fake sky you can literally fake uh, uh, the sky behind your terrain uh, in the background of your terrain so uh, you just open this collection choose the fake sky rotator which is actually an empty and you go like this it does not affect the lightning of the scene so you don't have to worry about that it's just faking the the sky in the background you will also get uh, a few of the high quality images that you can use so I think this is really cool. It's not the HDRI, so it won't get heavy on your system or anything. You set the lighting any way you want, uh, just with a sun lamp or whatever. Uh, but this is just so you can fake uh, the sky in the background. And it's really useful. I render it with that, so I turn it on and render the whole scene together. But you can do it without it. You can do two separate passes, you know, one uh, with the with just with the rain and the other with this sky in the background. Uh, since you will have these images, you can also apply them later on, you know, uh, in, in your photo editing software. Uh, although I suggest that you try to use them in here because this is actually uh, on a quarter sphere, you know, textured, uh, like a texture on a quarter sphere. So it's, you know, it has all this uh, curvature, which, adds the realism you can also test it with your images as well so that's it i will turn it off so it doesn't bother us and i will also change the shading uh, of the terrain uh, okay and go like this so what's also new uh, now we have four inputs four image inputs for the height maps, which is totally cool because now you have even more control and uh, you're able to add even more details to your terrain. But uh, what's also cool is with four, it makes more sense when you're mixing and the uh, uh, mixer node was redone as well. So now it will be a lot easier for you to mix terrains uh, in a sense that the changes will be a lot more obvious and, and clear so if we do this okay uh, just let me check if there's any rotation and there is uh, set this all to zero okay so You see that this age mix slider, age mix one to slider is set to one, and uh, these two are set to zero. Now, if I do anything here, you see the change will only happen between these two inputs. But if I do this. Go to the uh, the third mixer this age mix one two three four and do this now the change will only have be happening between the mixer three and four so whatever i do here it won't affect the scene but if i do something here it will affect the scene of course I can use the cascader note if I want to do some cascades and this will work. 
so you don't have to worry about that. But the, the inputs one and two won't interfere. And of course, if you want to combine those four, all four inputs, you do this. See? And of course, you can rotate inputs separately. But now we have four of them, of course. You see? You will notice that the changes are like really, really uh, much more obvious than they were before. Uh, what we have uh, left? Oh, yeah, something really cool. And if we go, let me just turn off this. If we go here to all the way to the end where the displacement node is, you will see something called a uh, skewer. Cool, right and what skewer does let's make it a surprise what skewer does it skews the terrain of course and its elements so if I do this you see how it skews um, let me just do a combination which will be a bit more obvious uh, so let me do this. Okay. So see, and we can also decide which axis do we want to have this more. Sorry, my English is really poor. I will also show you the example of a successful test. <laughs> so, but you see what it does, right? So imagine if you have something uh, which is maybe more pronounced. Okay, let's 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 do this. Let's do this. You see? Uh, now, I suggest that you don't use this for baking because you understand how baking works and uh, it only uh, uh, catches the, you know, black and white value, positive and negative value in the z-axis. So everything that, that happens, everything that happens here, you know, wouldn't be baked. It would just get the stretched line you know from here to here so unfortunately you can't use that for uh, baking maps so but what you can do is render the scene here inside cycles which is what i do as well and all the examples that i've shown are rendered inside, inside cycles so i think this is a great addition especially if you're doing some kind of uh, you know concept art when you need you know some kind of really dramatic look of the of the rocks so I think you'll enjoy using it and as you can see now it's really a lot easier to use uh, a terrain mixer and it will get even better in the upcoming weeks so stay with me and talk soon if you have any questions you know where to post them cheers <laughs>